Welcome to this tutorial. This is Aaron from PhotoshopDemos.com and um, today I wanted to look and do a little quick review on Photoshop.com. This tutorial I'm actually going to do a few videos um, just to cover a couple aspects of this application. Uh, just a few of my um, loyal YouTube subscribers just asked for a demo um, on this application so um, here it is and basically I just wanted to uh, showcase this for you, you can just go to uh, Photoshop.com, and a lot of the tools that uh, you have inside of Photoshop, you can also work with here. Uh, some of the additional features, of course, you don't have the full flexibility of the Photoshop application, but this is still a really cool step towards being able to edit your photos and do some really cool things online, like making slideshows, sharing images, and a lot of other cool things. Um, there's other photo sharing services out there, but um, me personally, I just am true to the Adobe products. Uh, they're pretty solid and there's a lot of great uh, features in them. So uh, let's go ahead and get signed in and I'll go ahead and show you uh, how to get started here. And uh, just so you know, you probably want to download and install the most recent version of Flash. It is a Flash based uh, application and uh, Flash can be installed relatively quick. Flash Player 10 is the most recent one. And so you're definitely going to want to get that before you. Um, go on to this website. So we're just going to get logged in here. <clears throat> and the, the cool thing really about um, this particular online Photoshop is that uh, when you actually um, create an account, you get your own domain name. So w once you sign up, you'll actually have uh, your own name in replace of the www so you'll actually have your own account so if I go um, you actually have an address book too you can go in here and load some different emails in um, and a lot of different features so when you click on my photos you actually go right into um, your photo album now uh, when you first upload images, they're just going to go into your library. They're not specifically going to go into an album. So what you'll do is you'll basically go to Upload Photos. That's going to go to your local desktop. And then um, if you want your images to be renamed a little better, um, then you basically will uh, rename it here. Go and click that, Open and it's going to basically ask you to upload to the library or upload to a new album and or do you want to upload them to an existing album um, I'm just going to upload them to the library for right now because I want to show you a couple things and that image is now going to upload into my library of images and once that's inside of this application I can then manipulate um, I can do any kind of editing that I want as well as uh, making a really cool slideshow that I can pass around to my family and friends um, or put on my website, my blog, wherever I choose to. So that's a pretty cool thing to be able to do. So just give it a second here. Um, the file that I uploaded was a little bit large. Uh, if your photos are kind of small, um, you can go ahead and uh, it'll probably go a little bit faster. But there is a limitation. I don't think this is like unlimited photo editing or uploading, so you may have to just keep a tabs on uh, your account status and the size of the actual account. So now that this is 100% um, uploaded, um, what we can go ahead and do is um, then we can either close this box out, it'll basically finish out, and you're just going to click Done. And once your photo is then uploaded, you can go into All My Photos, and you can basically zoom this out, and you'll see all your photos here. Now the cool thing about this too is you can actually go in, you can label these um, by um, a rating. You can rate them from one to five, um, and then go ahead and add your description in here, and then also add your tags in for easy browsing and um, finding your photos later on. You can uh, browse for tags up here later on and to find all your images. There's a variety of different viewing um, planes here you can go into the uh, mode here where it's just more like little thumbnails you can also view them in more of like a light box format or you can uh, see all the details um, date uploaded taken and all uh, the kind of details that you might want for your photos so 
Um, in this case, I'm just going to go into this mode, and you can see when you hover over the image, you also get this little drop down, and that's going to give you some additional options here, which also coordinate um, with the icons down here. Some of them are the same. There's additional ones. Now, if you want to go into the photo editing mode, you just click this editing button here. I'm going to go into a little bit more detail um, in the second tutorial, but you can see that there's uh, a ton of um, different uh, editing tools here so that you can really work with um, your um, images and one of the cool things that I like and again I'll go into some of these other tools in more detail but I just want to show you this pop color what it does is it, it selectively pulls colors from the image and then adds them up here and then you can actually see um, that it's going to just turn the entire image black and white and just leave that one color um, in your image so you can choose a variety of different colors you can click on um, like the grass or you can click on different colors maybe inside of here and what that's going to do is give you a whole range of different colors that you can pop out of that photo so you can really create some very artistic uh, really unique looking images um, just in a matter of seconds without really having to know the the full details um, of Photoshop because um, even Photoshop isn't even quite this powerful at least the CS3 one doesn't work exactly this quick um, with this type of editing so um, very cool little tool there um, anyway I'm gonna hop back over to the photos area because I want to show you one thing I'm gonna not save that hop back over here and the really cool thing about all of this is when you're kind of working on your photos and getting it all organized you can actually literally click and drag your images into your other albums so if you want to take this out of your library and then say put it in your portrait um, folder or your demo folder um, you can actually do that just by simply dragging and dropping that's what's very cool about this so um, the best thing to do is just play around with this I'm gonna do another tutorial here um, with some more details but those are the basics for right now you got the tools down here some different viewing modes and then some other options over here which I'll get into in the next tutorial so uh, that's just to get you started and um, hope that was fun and we'll see you in the next tutorial